It's a pleasure to welcome Jamal back to True Blue. Good to see you. Nice to see you. How you doing? Let's uh, start with the hip. How does it feel, and what's your status for Friday night? Uh, I'm, I'm going to play. It's, um, it's just bruised up a little bit, and um, it just swelled up like really quickly, and I, I couldn't run as fast and fluently as usual. So um, we have a lot of running backs, so I, I had confidence in everybody else that they could go out there and do the job. Took a shot on the hip. Was it just before halftime? Yeah. And then did before. you feel that there was some trouble right away? Um, I felt it. Like right when it happened, I was getting up slowly. I was like, uh, this might give me some trouble for the rest of it. So like half of that drive, I got out. But when it was time to score again, go goal line time, I went back in to, to get the second score. And um, I'm just proud that and grateful that they let me go back in to, to score it. And it's just it's just a team to, to have faith in me because um, I wasn't going to go back in. But um, Cody. Kyle, all of them, they was like, come on, Jamal, we need you to go back in there and finish this drive off and help us get this W. So um, without their encouragement, I, I don't think I would have went back in. How much does it mean to you to, to have those guys saying, hey, look, sophomore, we need you to help us go win? Um, it's, it's grateful. I feel proud to be on this team that I have seniors that, that think um, I have a, a great tremendous effect on this team. And, and I see it too to have Taysom out there. He's lifting me up, and I'm lifting him up, and we just we just go off of each other. And to have um, the leadership and the upperclassmen have me try to build my role up as I grow up and become a junior next year and a senior to to start building some leadership. It it helps me. Up over 600 yards rushing, uh, 18th in career rushing yards now at BYU. Again, just a, a sophomore, three touchdowns on the season. You see some of the other numbers there. You run with uh, a reckless abandon style. Now, now we've missed you this year with concussion. We've <laughs> missed you in the second half with a hip pointer. But that just seems to come with the territory, does it? Your style is going to remain the same? Pretty much, I'm still a little reckless. I'm trying to lower my pad level, keep it lower a little bit more, but it's just some points where you just want to go out there and be physical and show them that if you're going to tackle them, you better come harder than what you're doing now because there's a couple of times they think hitting me low is the only solution because I'll bounce off of that and give them a stiff arm. And it's just me, I mean, I just like being a little a crowd pleaser sometimes and get somebody <laughs> hyped up. Well, I know you like being a mom pleaser as well, and uh, great family support behind you in your career. Uh, what does mom say about these injuries you're sustaining? And there they are. They're on the road with you. They're at home with you. They're wherever number 21 is. But what's mom's uh, advice for you to stay healthy and stay on the field? Uh, just keep running hard and bounce to the outside. That's what she says. And I tell her, well, it just comes with football. You get hurt. But she said, just go. Uh, what's Let's say stay on the outside and bounce it out. Don't go in the middle all the time. <laughs> but I'm so used to the middle that I actually like it. But I know sometimes I have to go out to the outside. Great advice for mom. Don't go. Don't go up the middle. That's where the linebackers are. Yeah. When you were hurt uh, in that Utah game, and you're laying out there on the field, and they're bringing the stretcher out, uh, are you thinking? Uh, the worst thing has happened to me. I, I can't move. What, what's going through your mind during this, what appeared to be a very critical injury? Um, I pretty much it felt like I had blacked out for like two seconds. And then they was telling me to move my hands and everything. I couldn't feel my left arm for a minute. Like I really couldn't squeeze. It was just Were you scared? scared. Um, I wasn't really scared of what happened to me. Honestly, I, I know I'll be fine because I felt my, my back and everything was okay. okay. It was just my left arm. And it's just having, putting that pressure on my mom and my mm. family and them just to have them looking at me on, on the ground. And it's, it's more terrifying for them than it is for me. So I, I try not to get, uh, hopefully I don't get hurt like that again to, to scare them all and, and all of them but I love them all for, for coming out and, and supporting me and going all the way back to the hospital and staying there a couple of days. Right. And then after I was done, mom stayed for a, a whole new, a whole week. She took me to class, she, <laughs> she went to practice with me. That's so. what moms do, right? Mm -hmm. Well, stay out of the middle, listen to your mother. But uh, Friday night, Boise State, ESPN, a huge opportunity to show what you and this offense 
can do against a good opponent. You ready for it? Yes, sir. All right, Jamal Williams. Thank you for being here. Uh, no problem. Good to see you healthy. In the news of the day, Williams believes he will be ready for the Broncos on Friday night.